Hi there, I'm Sarah Pinkerton, and this is How the Heartless Has a Heart, a closer look at the Tin Woodman from The Wizard of Oz. The well-known classic, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, written by Baum in the early 1900s, has been compared to and analyzed around populist movement themes. Putting those interpretations aside and looking at the characters as they are, Dorothy's companions, the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodman, and the Cowardly Lion, are all alluded to already having the traits that they seek. Through their actions and reactions to characters that they meet throughout their journey, Baum shows the reader that the group each had the trait that they wanted all along, and they didn't need the wizard to give it to them. Now, let's take a closer look at the second character Dorothy meets on her quest to the wizard. The Tin Woodman claims that he does not have a physical heart and wants to gain one, so he joins Dorothy to meet the wizard. When explaining why he wants a heart, he tells Dorothy that he used to be a human and he lost his physical heart along with all his love for the girl that he wanted to marry. However, his want for a heart is one indicator that he still possessed a heart even if it was not the same one he had before. He is caring and because he wants to care more than he already does, it is clear he already has a heart. This is most easily seen in his actions towards the people that they meet. Whenever they meet a new character, he is easily the most compassionate and caring. He had just met Dorothy and Toto, but was already willing to face what he thought was a fearsome lion to protect them. When Dorothy asks how Toto will be kept safe from the lion, the Tin Man immediately replies, We must protect him ourselves if he is in danger. His already high level of emotion, which was his main reason for wanting a heart, is also shown in the amount of times that he rusts himself useless from crying. One of his constant outbursts starts when he accidentally kills a beetle while walking through a forest. Baum writes, This made the Tin Woodman very unhappy, for he was always careful not to hurt any living creature, and as he walked along, he wept several tears of sorrow and regret. These tears ran slowly down his face and over the hinges of his jaw, and there they rested. He thinks that because he doesn't have a physical heart, he has to be extra careful about his actions towards others. He believes that he is no guiding force in the form of the heart. However, the fact that he cares so much about hurting others that he cries enough to rest his jaw shut on multiple occasions proves that he already has one. He also claims, when speaking to the mouse queen he saved, later on in the story, that, I have no heart, you know, so I am always careful to help all those who may need a friend. If he really did not have a heart, he wouldn't care enough to help anybody at all. He would not be careful to help if he truly had no capability to care, as he claims that only those with hearts can love and care about others. The Tin Woodman's actions throughout the story show that he had a heart all along and he didn't need the wizard to give it to him. And this is true for the other characters that have seeked out help from the wizard. That's it for this analysis of The Wizard of Oz. Happy reading!